So, you want to color match thing? You want to make colors better? Co you want to color make things look like they're the same color? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in GIMP once again. Kind of doing what I just said. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take two images here and that are kind of different colors, a little different tones, and we're gonna kind of merge them together and to make it like it's the same image. Maybe do a couple of effects to make it look a little bit better um, overall, and then we are going to uh, be done. So I have two images here. Both are of Uncharted 4. Uh, absolutely huge fan of Uncharted, especially Nathan Drake. So we're going to go ahead and grab our image of Nathan Drake here. I'm going to go up to copy, edit copy, and then we're just going to go ahead and paste this into our image right here. Paste as new layer. Now you can see this kind of kind of fits. I mean, it's not that bad. There's definitely worse examples. But what I want to do is I kind of want to change the overall tone of this image. So I'm going to leave him in the center, actually, because I kind of like the way it looks, to be honest with you. I'm going to leave him in the center, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... Gr I'm going to actually uh, crop the content here. So now he's e easier to move around. He's not the whole layer. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to take... I'm going to duplicate both of these layers, first of all. So right-click, duplicate layer, and we're going to drag both of those down beneath our other two layers, and then just hide them, just so I have them as a backup. Um, and I'm actually going to create a... Uh, folder I'm gonna create a group so right click one of them hit new layer group and then just drag both of those hidden um, hidden layers into that group unhide them and then just hide the entire group so now you can just unhide that whole group just to just to toggle both of them at the same time now with these two with the actual two we're using I'm gonna go ahead and go up to first we're gonna change we're gonna change the landscape because that's the biggest issue we're gonna go to colors curves and then go ahead and just maybe drag the bright brights up so the top uh we're gonna drag that up a little tiny bit and the bottom we're gonna drag it down a little bit make it a little tiny bit more contrasty because as you see nathan uh has quite a bit of contrast on him here you can see he has uh the darks are pretty dark and the brights are pretty bright so we're gonna go ahead and try and match that with the background here now you can see there's a lot more yellowish green in the background than there is in nathan so we're gonna grab this thing that says value and scroll on down to red and kind of drag the red down a little bit we're gonna drag we're gonna go to green and drag the green down a little bit and now we're getting a little closer to nathan drake and that looks pretty close if you ask me we're gonna go to blue and then just maybe turn eh. You know, he's kind of yellowish, actually, in this picture, so we're going to drag the blue down as well. And if you zoom out like that and to get a, a further away shot, you can definitely tell, like, if it's off, like, that's clearly off. Um, so we're going to just do something like this, actually. I think that's, I kind of want to get rid of all of that blue. That was pretty good. Yeah, so that's what we started off as, right? It's okay. Nothing wrong with it. And then this is what we have now, which matches much better than the previous. It's a very subtle change. Not, actually, not that subtle, but it's a very simple change that makes a huge difference. We're going to hit OK on that, and now you can see we're pretty much done. I don't like this blue over here, but I think we're going to have to leave that. I don't want to go ahead and do too much other stuff with the image. This is just like matching tones. I'm not going to go through all that. But what I do want to do is I kind of want to add a little bit of a highlight on the outside of Nathan Drake here, which is not exactly tone, but it definitely makes the image fit a little bit better together. So I'm going to grab Nathan here. We're going to duplicate. Actually, we're not going to duplicate because we, we already have a duplication. I'm going to go to the fuzzy select tool and then click anywhere in Nathan and just drag down until all of him is selected. As you can see, um, he's having some issues up here with some uh, uh, particles being messed up, particles, with some stuff being messed up. So I'm going to actually go ahead and click on the outside of him, hold down shift, and then just drag my, my cursor down. And that's going to get rid of, uh, that's going to select everything I don't really want, kind of, and I'm going to hit delete. And now all that invisible stuff that was up around his head is going to be gone. And now when we select Nathan again, you can see all that stuff is kind of gone, which is what I want. So... Um, now once that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and select, go up to select, shrink, and then shrink this selection by maybe 5 pixels, and hit enter. And now you can see if I zoom in here, we have this kind of shrunk around his hand, around everything, around his jeans. This is really what I want to focus on down here, because this kind of, this stuff is kind of lost in the, in the blackness of this cave or whatever this is back here. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to add new layer down here, and create a new layer, hit OK, above Nathan Drake. And I'm going to go to select, invert. And then we're going to use the brush tool and just bump it up to a high size on our softest brush. Maybe about almost 500, maybe a little bit closer to 500, 600. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint in like uh, this area, all of this area where I want it to be standing out a little bit more. I don't, want, I don't want really anything over here too much, so I'm just going to be careful not to do that. I'm just going to kind of do like a little outline 
around the edges as to where I think there might be some backlighting um, or where some things are getting lost in translation. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to select and select none. So now everything's deselected. Now you can see down here, since it selects the bottom of his legs, that does not look good and realistic because his legs don't stop there. So I'm going to make sure we erase that by going ahead and just getting rid of this area right here because I don't need that much in this area anyway. That looks pretty good to me. Just kind of fade it out like that. Looks pretty good. All right, cool. Um, and you do the same thing as well if you if you did, did his hair up here as well, but we didn't really do too much up here, so ignore that. Now, if we go ahead and, and put this on overlay, the mode up here, if we put the mode on overlay, you can see it kind of overlays some lightness uh, on his hands, but it's extremely uh, harsh. So what I'm going to do is because it's also bleeding onto the background, I'm going to right-click Nathan and then go to New Layer Group and then drag Nathan in that layer group and then drag the highlight on top of him. So now you can see the highlight is only on him because it's only affecting what's inside of this layer group with this guy right here. So um, now because it's super harsh, I'm going to go ahead and select our highlight, which is this bad boy, and then go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then we're just going to kind of blur that just a little tiny bit, maybe about like uh, 10 pixels will blur it by 10, something like that. So now if you take a look up here, you can see it's much softer than that, of course, uh, uh, over here as well, much softer, uh, much easier to look at, much more realistic, of course. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK on that, and I think I like the way that looks now. I don't really know if I'm going to use overlay or soft light. We'll do soft light because soft light's much more natural. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the our highlight one time. There you go. And then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur once again, and blur just by a little tiny bit more, just to make it a little even softer. Now his hand's getting a little too bright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and erase this portion on his fingers of the second uh, highlight we just created. There we go. Looks very nice, and it's very, very subtle. This is the only, we added a little bit of highlight there just so his arm stands out a little bit, tiny bit more. As you can see, it doesn't do too much other than just help him stand out a little bit more. And I think I want Nathan to be a little more saturated. So I'm going to go up to, or select Nathan, go up to colors, hue saturation, and then just kind of saturate him a little bit. Kind of there we go. Now this kind of looks a little bit more tropical than I was going for, but hey, sometimes it works out like that. Maybe the same thing with the background as well. So there we go. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. We did a little bit of uh, color matching today. I'm going to go ahead and group everything together here so I can just easily toggle it on and off so I can show you what we started with. So all that. Nope. No, 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 no. Don't you do that. Uh, mm, there we go. And put that in there. And... Okay, all right, there we go. All right, cool. So now, um, we kind of started with uh, with this, if I can get this in the group, for God's sakes. Holy moly. Okay, let's do this, and then just move this group above it. All right, I'm a genius. Okay, so we kind of started with, uh, we kind of started with this, which doesn't look bad, doesn't look bad at all, but we did a very slight change, and it kind of matched it up a little bit better and just made the image pop a little tiny bit more. I didn't want to do too much, like I said, this because it's just for tonality. Really, the, the highlights on his arm was even too much. But uh, that is that. Kind of merging images together to make them look a little bit um, more natural. And, of course, it's not as big of an example as, per se, like um, maybe this would be obviously and then maybe like it was like really weird color like that of course it's not like weird like this but it definitely does help that subtle subtle change so i hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's uh quick and easy tutorial of how to do a little bit of color matching color grading color tone i don't know whatever you want to call it um i really do hope you enjoyed it i will see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one but until then bye bye